Hey, Kevin. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good to meet you. Very nice to meet you. What do we got going on today? We're doing putter fitting. Yes, sir. What, uh, what is going on with your putter? What do you like about it? Mm -hmm. And what do you, you know, have troubles with? Um, okay, so I, I've only been golfing for two years. Okay. Um, I started out with a uh, Ping Answer 2. Great. Um, played with that for a couple rounds and I was like, I think I need a new putter. So I went into the PGA uh, Tour Superstore, mm -hmm. had no idea what a putter fitting or a club fitting was. And okay. I was just like, hey, I want to buy a putter. Um, so the, the gentleman that was working there yeah. was legit like, all right, let's grab some putters and I'll watch yeah. you putt. Um, use a couple of different ones. Um, I think in my mind, I wanted a Scotty Cameron. So yeah. that's what I left with. Yeah. Um, I'm really happy with it. I love it. Cool. But uh, I'm at the point where now, like, I'm very interested in data and I want to make sure I have the putter that's right for me. Um, we're going to go through a very in-depth process today. Okay. Uh, we're going to use Sam here, Science and Motion Sports. Okay. So Sam's going to be, be able to show us some things that I won't be able to see. And I'm going to add some additional information to what Sam is seeing as awesome. well. So we'll go over everything that you could think of from, it probably and more, uh, from your stance, okay. ball position, hand position, grip, length, loft, distance control, uh, how to release the club head. Whoa, this like is awesome. Everything. Okay, so okay, I'm excited. Let me see your putter. I'm gonna take some measurements really quick okay. and input into Sam. So Sam has a baseline of where we're starting. Gotcha. And then we'll go from there. Um, right here, we're looking at 33. Mm -hmm. What people don't realize, it is not measured from the the toe to the to the top of the grip. Um, a lot of times it's from, or it is from the center of the, oh, of the club head gotcha. to the top. Gotcha. So we're looking at five degrees aloft and 71 degrees of lie angle. Now I'm gonna put this like jig on here uh, for Sam to be able to read what's going on when you're putting. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna look at what Sam saw, okay. right? So r this chart up here, it is showing what the club is doing uh, through your stroke. Mm -hmm. So you can see you have, you can see this dotted lines, mm -hmm. right? That's your takeaway. Okay. And then the solid line is your forward stroke. Gotcha. Right, so you have a very moderate uh, arc path. Okay. And then here, we have what is happening before and after impact. Mm -hmm. So uh, when you make your takeaway, you, the face is open 4.3 degrees. Mm -hmm. When you get to impact, you are 0.4 degrees, so uh, open. So that's okay. really good. It's okay. pretty fairly square. Okay. Uh, and then when you follow through, it's about 22 degrees closed. Mm -hmm. So when I see this chart, what I'm really concerned about is what's happening 10 centimeters before and after impact. Mm -hmm. I want to see these numbers to be as tight as possible. So Sam is, is recommending between a mallet or, or a square putter. So gotcha. something that is going to not close as quickly. Mm -hmm. So right now, if I drew a line from your eyes going down, mm. here's your eyes. Wow, okay. I need your eyes here. So with your eyes over the ball, and the shaft in the right slotting, now it's gonna tell me length. So if I go ahead, let go. So now, I'm gonna actually need it to be 30 inches. Wow, okay. So in order to confirm, we need a measure. Yeah, yeah. So I choked down on like all my clubs too, and I choked down on this one, even though it's a 33 too, so. Okay, yeah. okay. Actually, you're hitting slightly up on it because you have five degrees of loft, mm -hmm. but you de-loft the putter two degrees, mm. <laughs> and the effective loft is three. So okay. I want to be between two and three degrees. Okay. So again, if we actually move the ball more forward, we're going to initiate that. Okay. Uh, because the ball's so far back in your stance, yeah, you're... You're hitting up on it, but you're creating backspin. So mm -hmm. we want you to hit up on it and create topspin. Gotcha. So remember I was talking about, yeah, you're hitting down on it, mm -hmm. right? So you could see how you're yeah. hitting it mostly on the top of yeah. the face. What you came in, right? Mm -hmm. We got your Scotty 
um, special select flow back. We got the mallet face balance, single shaft offset, 33 in length, five degrees loft, 71 degrees of lie angle. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna look more closer to like a square back putter, 30 degrees of toe hang, 30 in length, three degrees of loft, and 73 degrees of uh, lie angle. Okay. So this is the AI-1 double wide putter. So more square back putter. Um, you can see this is more closer to 30 degrees mm -hmm. of toe hang. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is 32 inches. In their demo, they don't have a 30 um, inch putter. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna have you grip down two inches. Okay. Every putter that I give you from now on is gonna be three degrees loft and 73 degrees of lie angle. Okay. okay. How does that feel? That feels really good. <laughs> <laughs> this is the LA Golf uh, Bel Air putter. Uh, you got a carbon face head um, and then their anti-vibration LA Golf shaft. Okay. So this is the new Adele Array B1 putter. Now I have it bent to the proper Lion Loft. You just have to grip down a little bit. Okay. This is the Mizuno MCraft 6. Um, more of a fang-like putter, just out of curiosity. Let's see, you know, something a little bit different. Okay. Um, a little bit bigger style grip, uh, and it's also long, so you're gonna have to grip down. Okay. It's 35 inches, you're gonna have to grip down three inches. Same lie and loft, so three degrees of loft, 73 degrees of lie angle. Okay. In golf, there's an aspect of, um, of looks, there's an aspect of performance, Hopefully, at the end, you're always hoping to kind of mesh those two things as, as best as possible. Okay. So this is one of the new PXG uh, closer models. So it's like their square back putter. I, again, bent it to 73 degrees lie angle, three degrees loft. Uh, it's a little bit longer, so you're gonna have to grip down. Uh, but smaller grip this time, so it's gonna be easier for you to get your hands in the right position. Okay. You stand really far away from the putter. Mm. Uh, we'll have to double check lie angle. Okay. Um, you have the ball too far back in your stance, which mm. is causing you to hit down on it. Okay. If this is the ball and you're making impact down, right, you're going to hit on the top of the face. Gotcha. So essentially, you're deadening impact. You're going to cause the ball to hop and skid before it rolls, mm -hmm. or either or. Mm -hmm. And then it's going to be really tough to judge distance. Mm. Um, sometimes you probably feel like you have to hit it harder than you intend to. Yeah. Um, uphill putts are probably really tough, yep. probably short a lot of times, or really far, yeah. right? Or, or you hit it way past the hole. Mm -hmm. um, on a fast green, it's probably even more challenging. I hate fast um, greens, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, if we adjust ball position, okay. it's gonna allow you more time to hit up on it, Okay. actually create top spin. So okay. when you create top spin, you're gonna cause the ball to roll as soon as it comes off the face. Gotcha. And also too, like if this is the ball and you're coming up on it, right? Now you're gonna move impact from the top of the face downward. Okay. So now you're gonna hit off the center of the face and then you're gonna end up having a more softer sensation. Mm. It's gonna feel a lot more pure. Mm -hmm. You're going to end up getting a much better rollout. It's gonna hold its line better. Sarah, your thumbs point inward, right? Mm -hmm. So for me, again, my arm lengths are the same, but for me, when I'm standing straight, you can see how my hands are more side on. Yeah, okay? yeah. There's also people whose thumbs fold out. Oh, okay. So huh. that's gonna affect your grip. It's also gonna affect the grip size. Whoa, that, that's crazy. So, <laughs> yeah, so what people don't realize is, yeah. the bigger the grip, uh -huh. the more it's gonna encourage your hands to go this way. Okay. The smaller the grip, it's gonna encourage your hands to go this way. Yeah. Scoot that way a, a little bit, there you go. So That's so I, crazy. Like I'm so used to it being right in the middle. <laughs> sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And for some people, it's great because mm -hmm. they deliver a lot of loft through mm -hmm. impact. Wow. It's like a totally different putter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel it. Like it doesn't come hot off the face because yeah. before it just I felt like it came so hot off the face so that I yeah. would just hit a little bit softer. Yeah. You know. So yeah, this yeah. one feels like it just rolls like yeah. right when i hit it so yeah that's and amazing I, I don't know if you could tell but when it comes off the face because now you're creating top spin uh -huh. it's rolling yeah it's not yeah like hopping no, really quickly that's exactly what i right? felt like when or i skinny. when i would hit it it felt like the ball would just go 
like yeah. that, and then yeah. start rolling. Yeah, right. Right. Now it rolls as soon as it comes off the yeah. face. I feel like I learned so much. Good. Um, and the way you described it, it's like it's a science, but it's also very nuanced and subjective. You know, based Absolutely. on. Uh, so many different variables. So um, I'm very glad that I got to come in and I got to see the data and um, I got a little bit of coaching from you. So uh, I feel excited. I'm ready to go play around right now. Based out of these putters that we um, that we tried, mm -hmm. which one did you like the most? Um, for sure this Odyssey one. This one just feels like it just sits in my hand perfectly. Yeah. And my stroke, like I just don't have to think about anything. Like I, I can just... Um, but, you know. Fantastic. Yeah. Cool. Thanks for coming in, Kai. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah.